to the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to welcome you today in our special musical celebration on the Danube, with visits to sparkling and picturesque towns and cities of Hungary, Austria, and Germany. Come along with us as we journey down the Danube River aboard the MS Amicello with music from famous concert halls, abbeys, and cathedrals. Our program of music on the Danube begins in Budapest, Hungary, where we visit the Palace of the Arts. In the spring of 2006, a large organ was installed in the Béla Bartók Concert Hall of the Palace of the Arts. This spectacular organ has 92 registers and five manuals. The largest pipes were already erected during the construction phase of the concert hall. It was our joy to play this magnificent instrument. On our program, Music on the Danube, we travel by riverboat on to Imperial Vienna.
At the center of Vienna stands the awesome St. Stephen's Cathedral, or Stephen's Dome, as it is called. It is the mother church of the Archdiocese of Vienna. Situated in the Stephen's Platz, the current Romanesque and Gothic form seen today stands on the ruins of two earlier churches, dating back to 1147. The cathedral is the most important religious building in Vienna and has borne witness to many important events in Austria's history over the years.
memorial tablet gives a detailed account of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's relationship with the cathedral, including the fact that he had been appointed an adjunct music director here shortly before his death. This was his parish church, where he lived at the Figaro House, and he was married here. Two of his children were baptized here, and his funeral was held in the Chapel of the Cross inside. From Vienna, we travel on to the spectacular Melk Monastery, standing high above the Danube. The Melk Abbey, or Stift Melk, is an Austrian Benedictine Abbey and one of the world's most famous monastic sites. It is located above the town of Melk on a rocky outcrop overlooking the river Danube in Lower Austria, adjoining the Wachau Valley. founded in 1089 when Leopold II, Margrave of Austria, gave one of his castles to Benedictine monks from Longbach Abbey. A school was founded in the 12th century and the monastic library soon became renowned for its extensive manuscript collection. Today's impressive Baroque Abbey was built between 1702 and 1736 and of particular note is the Abbey Church with its amazing white marble, golden statues, and breathtaking frescoes. High above the church in the back loft stands the massive and ornately decorated organ. Returning to our riverboat, we travel on to Regensburg, passing beautiful sights along the way. Regensburg, a town in southeastern Germany, is situated on the confluence of the Danube and Regen rivers. It is considered one of the best preserved medieval cities in Germany. St. Emmerons in Regensburg is a monastery that was founded in 739 and in the early Middle Ages, it was a center of book production. 
In 1295, it became an imperial abbey, an independent sovereign power subject directly to the emperor. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the abbey harbored great scholars with a long tradition of scientific inquiry. In 1731, the abbots were raised to the status of princes of the empire. From Regensburg, we travel overland to the historic German town of Altoting, an important pilgrimage town for believers from around the world.
Located just a few miles from the German-Austrian border, Bavarian dukes held court in Altoting, Germany, as far back as 748. Together with Marietzel in Austria, Czestakova in Poland, Fatima in Portugal, Loreto in Italy, and Lourdes in France, Altoting, Germany forms the cooperative Shrines of Europe. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on our musical celebration on the Danube River aboard the MS Amicello Riverboat. We hope you have enjoyed our musical journey, which has taken us to famous and picturesque towns and cities along the majestic Danube. We look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.